If there's anything that you can share with the listener, if they are going through the the process right now of pricing their service, their offer, pricing what they're doing, like how do you know if it's too high? How do you know if it's too low? And it sounds like you've had some experience with that, especially when you mentioned that something that you would have charged fifteen hundred for, or somebody else would charge fifteen hundred for, you moved it to. 10,000 or 15,000. Um, should we be, should we each kind of be thinking about raising our prices or lowering our prices? And I guess just how do we think about that? Sure. A great, great question. So the things that come most easily to us are generally the gifts that we have to give back to the world, which are the things that we value the least. So something that comes easy to you, whether it's marketing or advertising or selling or whatever, you know, I feel like I'm a good salesperson. I don't feel like I'm a sleazy sales guy. I feel like I'm a person that really wants to help somebody that's directly across the the selling table for me. And I feel like I build a relationship with them. So for me, like that comes easy. I can't imagine why it doesn't come easy for everybody, but it, but it doesn't come easy. So for me to train somebody in the world of selling would come easy for me. But, it, but it's received, not, it, it doesn't come easy for everyone. So those that want those services, I may be less likely in the beginning to charge a lot of money for that because I'm like, hey, it comes so easily for me. All you got to do is this. Just, just be tenacious, have some, have some resilience, make some calls, make some follow-up calls, just, just have a, a, a customer relationship management software program that you have in place. Those are the things that like that's natural to me. This is the stuff that you got to do in order to make sales. But a lot of people are like, oh, I called them and they didn't return my call, so I gave up. You know, or they didn't say yes, and I, I got twenty no's. So I, I, this isn't working. Yeah, you got twenty no's. You're one step closer to a yes. Keep going. You're almost there. Yeah. So, so that's the kind of stuff when when somebody says to me, "How much should I charge for this?" I generally are looking at their business plan, the things that they are doing, the process that they put in place, and they're spending too much time getting ready and not enough time doing what they are actually excel at. And so yeah. they don't put enough value on the thing that they are really good at and give away or delegate the rest of the stuff. Yes, it means hiring somebody or bringing somebody else in that might, you know, I'm not good at spreadsheets. So my partner is when I find myself in a spreadsheet, I find myself wasting my time and, and, and not being as effective and hating it all at the same time. So it's a double edged, horrible sword, hmm. you know, that I'm, that I'm traveling on. Yeah. So people are generally not charging enough for their services. Now I don't want to tell somebody to go from a thousand to $5,000 overnight, but I would do want to tell somebody, you've got to understand you probably are undervaluing what you are doing and spending too much time, not doing your gift and spending all of your time getting ready to get ready. Yeah.